Hi there, I'm Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series when I'm addressing the most common questions regarding SQL Server and Azure. So in today's episode, we're going to cover the question that you can see being asked everywhere, all over the place by the junior, junior DBAs, how to check the SQL Server startup time. Now, let me just jump straight into my little demo and little screen share. So I do have my a London SQL Server. I have no idea when it started up, uh, when it was booted up. I need to check that. So first of all, I need to use my master DB because that's what will contain all of my necessary information. Now, every single SQL Server contains four system databases. If you want to learn what are those four system databases, just subscribe to this channel and go through the videos because I've already recorded an extremely short two-minute episode that will explain what those system databases are all about and you as a DBA should already know that. So back to our demo. I am using the master database, so the heart of our SQL. But what I can do is I can use the other database in order to know what is the startup type of my server? Because based on that other video that I've just recommended to you, you may also remember that one of those four system databases is being restarted every single time you're rebooting your system, you are starting the SQL Server itself. So the tempdb being deleted and recreated basically every single time may indicate what is the startup type of startup time of your system. And this is the SQL, this is the method number one. So if I'll go to my sys databases that will contain all of the information about every single database that I have in this system, boom, you can see that I have all of that information here, including the user databases and all of my system databases, I do see the database that is called tempdb, right? This is the database ID number two. And then if I'll scroll all the way to the creation date, it will show me that this database was created on the 4th of July 2022, even though the rest of those databases were created back in 2003 because this is the SQL Server instance that I have in here right now. So again, I can just limit those query results only to the tempdb, or I can go even further. What I can do is I can just pull the tempdb database name and its create date column, and this way I will have my information. Now, the method number two that will not rely on the tempdb is the logging time of the first process. Now, every single process in SQL Server has the SPID, so the system process identifier. Now, the first one is the one that will keep the heartbeat of our system. So if I'll ch check when this process logged in, then again, I will have my system uh, startup time. And the last option that the last uh, out of four that I want to show you, this is the last one that is the TSQL, is the DMV. DMV OS is info, the dynamic management object that will show you in what state your system is right now at this very moment. And of course, as usual, I could just show you all of the information that we have in there, boom, which will show you how many physical memory, virtual memory you have, boom, 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 boom. We crawl all the way down to SQL Server start time. And again, this is exactly the column I've been looking for. And if you want to check that, boom, that's the only query you need. These are the three methods. Again, all of these codes are on our GitHub repository. But if you are really, really um, afraid of touching your keyboard and you just want to learn the clicks, then all you need to do is you just need to go to your, uh, to your SQL Server. You may want to go to the reports and in the server dashboard standard report, you can see your boom, little report that once it's loaded again, please remember that this is SQL Server 2000 uh, 2008, boom, you will see your Sir SQL Server start at time po pointing to the exact same minute. So regardless whether you want to use one of those three methods based on uh, your TSQL code or whether you want to use this little report, then by all means, you know everything right now. So as I said, 
I'm Ludwig, this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series. We went a bit over the past the two-minute uh, mark, but don't forget to subscribe to that channel. Find that video about those four system uh, databases because you, as a DBA, you really need to know what they do, what they mean, and how and when you should back those up, all right? So thank you very much, and I'll see you on the other side.